Actually, no. Here. Let me make this poorly drawn picture. <clears throat> No, it's just calling somebody. Who has not answered in forever? Tanuj? I don't think you've been called on for a long time. I've been called on like a few days. That's not a, that's a long time, sure. For the amount of thought I was gonna put into it, that's a long time. Okay, can you tell me anything about that picture? Tell me one fact. Oh, okay, let's write that. Okay. You can call the next person or number, whatever. 15. 15. Aman. Yeah. Oh, that's good. I wasn't even thinking of that one, but that is 100% true. Uh, slope at the top is zero. So we could also refer to that as a critical number, because that's when the derivative is zero or undefined. OK, good one. Next person. Uh, you don't know that. So without an equation, we don't know it's a parabola. Like, it very well could be an x to the fourth. This could just be one little chunk of a cubic. Like, I mean, I understand the reasoning, but we, we don't know it's a parabola. You can call on somebody else, or you can come up with another answer. Oh, I thought you said OK. <laughs> You got nothing? We've been doing we've been doing going over details of functions for the last three weeks. This is two of the details, but there's definitely more that you've probably written down yourself. Nothing you could think of off the top of your head is what, what I'm getting. OK. Well, pick on somebody to help you out then. 32. 32. What do we got here? Oh my god. Is this the first time you've turned around? Yeah. Mm. The top equals zero, critical value. Yeah. That's literally written up there. Yeah, I know. That's why I read it. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> so your, your goal was to try to tell me something about this picture that hasn't been stated yet. We've got concave down, and then we've got, it's a critical number, critical value, because it's slope at zero. Uh, the end behavior for both sides is uh, towards negative infinity. That's a good one. Um, I'm going to rephrase that, though. So the details that we've talked about this unit so far, instead of us saying end behavior down, down, we would say it is increasing than decreasing. I don't care how we write this down. Increasing on the left, decreasing on the right. But that's good. Some, some information can be stated in all sorts of different methods. OK, next person. There's definitely one thing we haven't stated yet that's been talked about a lot. You can say it if you want, or you can just call in the next person or number. Did you say eight or eight? eight. Nobody. Oh, okay. Ten. Kale. There's supposed to be one super obvious thing that I thought was going to be the first answer. I'll be honest. I thought concave down was going to be the last answer, but I suppose it's fresh in your mind. I even tried to give you a hint by what I wrote um, second and third. <gasps> okay, call on somebody else to help you out. 
Yeah, it's okay if you can't think of it right now. Well, that's true. Um, I guess not what I was looking for, but that's 100% is true too. Like you're able to find the slope everywhere. Yeah, that's what I was going for. Relative max, because we've got a critical number and it increases, decreases. I, I thought that was going to be the first thing somebody said because we've done so much of it. Okay, so I would say these are definitely four of the main things that we could have seen just by this picture. Uh, but the differentiable absolutely is, uh, that's a valid one too because we've talked about continuous and differentiable. Now what I'm trying to get at by showing this, relative extrema, we specifically tried to look for increasing, decreasing, and then what order they happened to figure out if it's a relative max or relative min, correct? So we are going to talk about an alternative method for identifying relative extrema. I believe it's written in your packet some way or form like that. I always forget relative if it's E or A. Go back to this picture for a second, and I'll put that info back up. We knew it was a relative max because it increased and decreased. We also knew that it was concave down. <clears throat> if you take your critical values and figure out if they are concave down or concave up, you'll automatically know if it's a relative max or min from that info. So rather than making a table of increasing and decreasing information, you can look at the second derivative to figure out if it's a max or min. So here I wrote this. Oh, it turned out this needs. A critical number is at x equals 2. Underneath it, you're told that the second derivative of 2 is positive. Would that be a relative max or min? You don't know anything about increasing, decreasing. Picture in your head, <clears throat> picture in your head, what does a positive concavity look like? The relative, the critical number automatically means it's the very top or very bottom because that's where the slope is zero. So in your head, if you are picturing positive concavity, that would make it a relative min. So the alternative method for figuring out relative extrema, <coughs> maybe for some reason, you already have the function, the derivative, the second derivative and you're told something is a critical number. Instead of making a table of increasing, decreasing, you could put it in the second derivative and determine if it's curving up or down, and that will tell you if it's uh, max or min. Made it up. Are you talking about the two and the F double prime of two? Yeah, 100% made it up. I didn't have an equation, I was just, give, I was giving you a hypothetical situation. Now, can anybody think where this won't work? Yeah, 
when f prime is? If f double prime is zero, or if f prime is undefined. Okay, so if you put a critical number in and you get no curvature, that doesn't tell you anything. If your critical number is a critical number because it was undefined, well, you actually can't figure anything out from that either. Like, think of the, ex oh God, this is so hard to draw. It's supposed to be a nice curve, pretend it is. Say that's your situation. You won't have a first derivative or a second derivative at that point. Actually, I drew that badly because I didn't even draw a max or a min. I was intending to make it a max or a min. That situation, your second derivative would also be undefined because it's got no slope, it's got no curvature. So this is considered an alternative method for finding relative extrema because sometimes it may be quicker and just immediately give you an answer. It's not considered the main method for finding relative extrema because it doesn't always work. Generally, if your first derivative is undefined, then your second derivative frequently will be as well because undefined generally happens like a, a denominator equals zero, and that would make you use the quotient rule, which would automatically have the same second derivative undefined as well. So in that situation, you just wouldn't even try this alternative method. You would make a table. Does that kind of make sense? Okay, that's it. That's the rest of the section. This, this was a very separate topic than what we were doing yesterday, and I didn't want to merge them together and have you feeling like they were related. <clears throat> you should be able to do any question in your homework now. And as a refresher reminder, this is your assignment for Monday as well. Monday is just finish up your packet from uh, 5, 4? Yeah. Yeah, 5, 4. Um, to give you a heads up if you're planning, 5.5 is going to take us about three days. So that'll be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 5.6 will probably take us two days, which would be Friday, Monday. And then my guess is our test would be a week from Wednesday. Is that a bad way to phrase it? A week and a half away. Yeah, no, it, your test would be in about a week and a half. Um, and we'll most likely do it a two-day test because you'll find out from the next section. The topics are very different from each other, and so one portion of the test will be second derivative test, and we're gonna learn something called optimization at the end of the unit. And then there'll be a graphing portion that we'll do separately on maybe probably a Thursday or something so that you don't have to blend together all of it. Okay, that's all I got. <clears throat>